Walk, we'll take a short recess. Yeah, just for a second. I care less about the jumping around and all that shit. But you got there's time and place to be a musician, and he ain't being one. Because he's animated. Maybe. There ain't no man maybe to it. Singing like that? No. That motherfucker's terrible. Like when most we rehearsed time. with Andy, everything was structured. I can already tell with most cast, you gotta listen to yourself. You know, musically, that's what separation's about. You gotta listen to them drums, you gotta listen to that guitar, you gotta listen to that other guitar, and listen to that bass. This guy is not listening to himself at all. He's definitely not following Jimmy because I was listening to his bass lines, and he's following himself. He was singing his notes all off key. The vocals were just terrible. He's up here, and all this bullshit. He ain't got his shit together, man. He sucks. I know. It's just, it's just a letdown. This is hard. What's that? I don't know. Just telling people, you know, they don't, they don't. It's not working. It's not, you know. Well, no wonder we're standing here doing this crap. We've been pussies all our lives, man. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not you know, saying that. I'm just a little that. harder. We might be where we were. Really want to be. You know. I'm ready to put the pedal to the metal. Either get this thing going or, you know, I need to move on. Right. That guy sucked. That guy sucked. You know, let's just call it. We spent about a month looking for a new jean. We found him not excited at all about something that kids were... They flew me in from Hawaii to become their Gene Simmons. They unfortunately lost their Gene Simmons to unfortunate circumstances. When Val told me what he had in mind, I just, I flipped. I mean, it's my hero. It's, I don't know, it's like... I, I don't want, I don't mean to be blasphemous, but it's like if you were to be God, you know, how could you how would you feel if you could portray God? Tomorrow's our big show over at the cruise in Merced and the big sold out show. We got a whole bunch of whole bunch of last minute things to fix. Like I think at one show it lost a tooth, so we had to glue that in and wipe away blood and I finally asked Dandy, well what are we gonna do about, you know, costume and stuff and he said, well, he's going to be selling his. Oh, I had to purchase it to keep it going because I think that it would be worth it. And he was very happy to find out that I had uh, become sober from some of the problematic drugs that I was using. Uh, what was the question? Yeah, I think the pressure really started after I got the pictures because they looked so damn good. You know, I mean, they really looked like Kiss. I was very impressed and immediately worried that I wasn't going to be able to fill Andy's shoes. If Dave doesn't work out, I seriously don't know what our future is. It's going to be really hard to wake up tomorrow morning and maybe realize that there might not be a band. And. That night, Val and I just sat and watched Kiss films, and the next morning we woke up and played Kiss songs all day long. I was still thinking, man, this is just, it's 21 songs, I gotta have them done by tomorrow. Well, I'll be wearing Andy's uh, Destroyer outfit. I kind of feel weird. I kind of feel weird wearing his, his costume and uh, taking his place. Suggy! <laughs> Where the heck, what's going on here? Okay, that's gotta go in front. Um, hold on. What is that? What's the problem, Val? The string was out of in the way. Val, what is wrong? Lift your shirt. I mean, it's not an engineering thing. I can't get that one snap. All right, forget it. Forget it. No, no, no. I need to breathe fire at the end of Rock and Roll Night, also. Yeah, you're gonna breathe fire. Okay. So it'll be like... Uh, uh, Alright, while that's going on, it'll be a sequence of jumps that I do. Yeah. Up to ten. <laughs> Work. 
Well, Don's my pyro guy, and he's going to have the wet towel in case of unfortunate incident. And uh, like I said, the ceiling is probably a 10-foot ceiling. Uh, one of my smallest flames is about 12 feet. So <laughs> we're going to get a good deal of rollage over the ceiling. So How about this, Dave? No, Val. You're going to roll a good 8 to 10 feet across the ceiling, dude. Trust me, it ain't going to be that big of a deal, dude. You can breathe fire plenty of time. Me, <laughs> well, I trust you. But at the same time, you have voice show. So, and I've seen Patchy, yeah, he's done a million times, man. It's, it's no big deal. Ceilings like this all the time. Ain't nothing gonna happen, man. Tripping with luggage. It says line patch preamp out. But uh, I can tell you right now, personally, Dave's freaking. He's trying to be cool, but he's freaking out. This is his first show. He's freaking. You saw. You guys can see how he's just sitting there acting like he's, you know, better than everyone else. So this is like a family. Kiss has always been about uh, a very cohesive group, and he's always talking about how, you know, one for all and all for one. Yeah, like him. He was trying to tell me how to breathe fire, you know, and uh, and like, well, you know, when you when you've done this a few times, you know, like, what the fuck, you know, I I probably played ten times as many fucking shows as he has. some bass up here. Absolutely not. I personally can't hear any bass whatsoever. Okay, very good. Need, need more bass. Okay. You get this on, Phil. Yeah. This fucking sucks. Sound sucks. Period. Does it sound alright to you, Robert? It sounded a lot better than you think it did. Yeah, well, because we're here in the house mix, too. Right. We have spent all day. It is now 511. This is a sound check. It sounded like fucking shit. And I gotta be convinced that it was good. And it's not good. It stinks. We're doing it again. I don't wanna do it again. Simple as that. Jay, why do you always have to have an attitude? Yeah, well, that's what you think, that I always gotta have an attitude, but. Yeah, well. Oh, man. You can always, if you feel like you can straighten me out, please do. If you feel like you need to straighten me out, please do. No, I'm not going to keep myself because I'm going, I'm going on stage two. I got to play too. Keep it to your fucking self. Do you have I'm to yell it out in the club? Hey, I don't give a fuck about that bullshit. You don't give a fuck about anything. Sure, pretty much don't. When it comes to we're standing around supposed to be playing and paying all this fucking money for what? To sound like shit. You guys can be pussies, not me. straight out. Me. Gene Simmons has always been about power and control, being larger than life. People like me, I don't feel I've had a lot of control in the past over my life. Being abused as a child, you feel a loss of control, uh, and you feel a real sense of um, badness about yourself. You feel small. You feel insignificant. Uh, part of part of the reason I like to act is because uh, you have a control over the role that you're playing. To be big and powerful and confident in who you are, you know, to be able to hold your head up high and do things that are, um, I don't know, noticeable and special. Well, as an actor, I have. Uh, I've had that sort of psychosis of losing yourself in a character. Val first informed me of this that, you know, watch for that because it's very possible uh, to start believing that you're Gene Simmons and um, losing sight of yourself. And that's a, that's a spooky thing. And if you've, got, if you've got any doubts about yourself or if you're not really sure of who you are, that would be very easy to do. It is now 20 to 9. The opening band ends at 9, and we go on about 9.15 to 9.30, depending on how long it takes them to clear the stage. Oh, man. Keep closed. That's fine. Keep closed. That's open. Okay, shake your head. Tell me how it feels. Oh, it feels like it's going to come right off. Okay, well, we got, we got, I have like 50 more in here. That's the back. But does it feel better? No, 
It's the back that feels yeah, like it's coming it, off. Yeah, it's it's the whole thing of the top not pulling the cap off my head. I'm preparing to super glue my wig to my head in order to give a more genuine performance of Gene Simmons without the wig flying off my head. Super glue. <laughs> Yes. How like how big of a spot? Just, I'm just gonna put like two spots. Believe me, it won't hurt you. This is crazy. It's not gonna hurt you. I know it's not, not until I take it off. We're gonna get going now, so it's rock and roll. Okay, let's do it. Tell them to start fogging the stage now or we're going to come out. Alright, everybody put it in. Come on. Everybody put it in there. Let's go have a good one. Now we got to do this one, you guys. We're Dave. We're just about ready to go on. And Jay goes, okay, let's get together here, man. And we all put our hands in. And we're like, okay, let's. And it was just like, whoa. You gotta be kidding me, you know? All right. I, I think the tension just went, whew, and everybody was just, let's rock. For Dave, oh, he's got a bus. God bless you guys. Shit going. Right on, man. Let's tear it. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait for Sam. You are the best. You got the best. The best. Oh, let's do it. Go, Jimmy. Larger than mine. Salute to. This guy's going, you're Peter Chris. You are Peter Chris. You know, and I, I looked and I went, wow. It's a trip. You know, you look out into the audience and they're looking at you, but you're not you. You're someone else. And it, it's, it's a weird connection because, like, when I'm looking at this person, they're thinking they're looking at... Kiss or Ace or, or whoever, you know, and I'm looking out there going, I'm trying to be Ace, so I hope you're buying this, you yeah. know. It's easy for us to sink into, you know, it would be easy in a sense for us to sink into believing I am so and so, but, you know, deep down we know who we are. You know, you gotta know who you are, otherwise you shouldn't be doing it. Well, otherwise, there's one way to find out who you are.